So, hello guys. Uh, today we are going to start exercise number 8. Uh, the title of this exercise is Defining and Analyzing a Concrete Floor. Okay, we'll have these data units, meters and kilo newtons, as we always do. So once again, I will follow all the steps shown here in this uh, exercise book. Let's start by the first one, the model definition. Uh, today we are uh, going to work uh, on uh, a type of stru structure that uh, we have never worked before, the plate uh, design, okay? So let's switch to robot. Uh, to switch the program that I have, I press Alt and now Tab. Alt is always pressed and you press Tab and you can switch easily this way, in this way, the program that you have opened, okay? So let's go to more. So here you've got a list of project types that you have available and each structure type, each project type only uses the necessary degrees of freedoms, which leads to a more simple model to build and resolve. As we are going to define a concrete floor, with no other elements, if we need the bar elements, we would go to shell over here, okay? Uh, but as we only need, we don't need bar, uh, bar elements, we are going to pick this one here, which is a plate design. So, uh, first thing first, let's go to view menu and uh, grid and, and uh, define the grid step, okay? View menu, grid over here, and grid step definition. The grid step definition is uh, important to, to build the geometry of the slab. Okay, so I'm going to pick number one, and here also one. The same step in the two directions, I'm going to apply and close. And if you have the snap settings, of grid turned on, you will uh, uh, snap one meter at a time, okay? So now let me go to select the objects icon over here. It is this objects icon. And I'm going to select the polyline, which is the first one, okay? And the contour option. And I'm going, as they say here, I'm going to use the mouse to select the, fo the following points on the graphical window. Using the mouse is really the fastest way to do this, as I said previously in other videos, okay? So now let me... Uh, I can check the coordinates. I also said this previously. I can check the coordinates over here, okay? So... The first point is minus 7, minus 5. Easier, minus 7, minus 5 is over here. As you may see, this point has these coordinates that are always changing if you notice. Okay? So, oh, I lost the coordinates once again. Okay, minus 7, minus 5. The first one is picked. Now, minus 7, 5, which is around here and seven five now which is around here now seven minus five and to close the contour we need to go to the first point that we defined let's go to minus five minus seven minus five okay the first contour is defined and now we are going to define the contour for an opening okay we are going to model the dimensions of an opening on the slab as you may see over here the coordinates are minus 4 2 around here minus 4 0 around here now minus 1 zero around here minus one two and to close remember that you need to go to the first point to close uh, the polyline contour okay now let me close 
now let's jump to the mesh definition okay let me go to the tools menu and job preferences over here on the meshing on the meshing type I'm going to press here this button the modification button okay over here and here I have the meshing options okay I'm going to set the Delonase option for in the available meshing options I'm going to set the Delonay complex max generation Delonay you may see over here that you have this to uh, these two in robot structure analysis loosely speaking you have at your disposal two types of meshing algorithms you have the cons in red and you have the DLNA in green the cons algorithm is less flexible but it can be used for non-flat surfaces, okay? In the Delaunay algorithm, the Delaunay algorithm is highly adaptable, but is limited. But is limited to flat surfaces, okay? We are defining we are defining here a flat surface so we are going to choose the Delaunay algorithm over here in the mesh generation we are going to choose the element size the element size is the size of uh, the finite element we are going to pick 0 0.5 meters so I'm going to set this as okay and okay now let's go and let's define the slab properties over here I'm going to select the thickness which is this over here I'm going to define a new thickness push this to the middle on the homogeneous tab I'm going to define 30 centimeters 30 centimeters over here I'm going to change the label oh no the, la the label is already changed so I'm going to add and I want the material to be C2530 okay this one over here very good I'm going to add and close and I'm going to close this now let's jump to panel and opening definition so I'm going to choose this option over here which are panels the reinforcement will will choose reinforced concrete floor this option over here is like the definition of the bar type being beam or beam column this uh, this option over here is important for the later the type of reinforcement is viral for the later design of reinforcement in the reinforcement for slabs module okay it is important for the reinforcement module not for the analysis remember that the thickness is this one that we defined previously and the model will be shell so I'm going to create with an internal point and I'm going to select the point zero zero this will create a counter for the panel select a point inside the panel by clicking outside of the opening defined above but inside the panel rectangle for example at point zero zero okay let's go to the point zero zero then mm, here it's not exactly the point zero zero but there you go we have defined that and now I'm going to create an opening and select over here this okay now we have defined the two objects as you may see here panel and opening okay we're good now let me close this and let me also close this we don't need this anymore now let's define the support let's jump to this point over here support definition so first of all let's go to analysis menu analysis menu calculation model I'm going to 
I'm going to prefer the generation of the computation model. This will bring up the finite element mesh for this element, okay? Uh, robot is uh, generating the calculation model. Okay, we have no supports. We are going to define them now. Just add the warning of no supports. Let's close that. As you may see here, we've got the finite element match. And let me go to the supports icon. Let me switch. Now, let me press this button over here. I'm going to press advanced. This opens the support definition advanced dialog box, as you may see over here. To define a support determined by means of dimensions of the column cross section. This is a column which will be rectangular. Okay. Uh, this will have an B of 45. In this case, it's A and also an height of 45 centimeters. Okay. 45 over here, 45 over here. So let me press OK. Let me call this. I'm going to label it as column, sorry, column 45 by 45. OK. And I'm going to set all the directions fixed. As you may notice, we only have three degrees of freedom in this model. Now I'm going to add and close and now I'm going to select that column and I'm going to the points minus six zero and four zero okay those points will be around those points will be the first one will be this one as you may see it is the point that we need minus six zero it's around here and now I need the other point will should be around four zero okay um, let me see four zero it will be this node press control to select also this node and now press apply as you may see it matches the supports over here the best way to define them is to look where they are graphically or search for the nodes that are closest to the points where you want to define uh, this now let me switch and define the linear supports over here i'm going to pick a pinned type support and apply it around this edge and around this edge down here okay very good so I guess we are running out of time this and uh, in the next video we will start the load case definition for this slab this concrete slab so thank you very much and uh, please subscribe and uh, please come back for more videos thank you very much once again